Back in 1911, the province hired two students from the Ontario Agricultural College to survey northern BC. Their detailed report is now part of the BC archives, and tonight Veronica Cooper tells us what they found. So their journey started in Vancouver, and they took the Prince Rupert steamer all the way up to Prince Rupert. And thus began the journey for two young men tasked in the summer of 1911 with surveying northern BC from Prince Rupert to Prince George. It's where the government was going to be laying the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway and they wanted to know who was farming what and then how those goods would be transported to uh, Victoria, Vancouver and other parts. And they were in their early 20s, they were college students. One of them was from New Westminster, one was, was from Ontario. So for instance, when they arrived in Prince Rupert in May, and there's a story here, we're in white here to study the district. The young men carried letters of introduction. Dear Barrett, this will introduce you to Messrs. Weir and White, who have been sent out by the Agricultural Department for the purpose of making an examination of the northern interior, and I know that you will extend to them the benefit of your knowledge and experience. And they went on horseback and camped and on foot and made their way through tracks and trails and also through that area, interviewing farmers, um, handing out seed. The government was very interested if sugar beet would grow in the north, so they were handing out sugar beet seed. They recorded the weather. One of them kept a diary, which we have. Every day he's, he tells where they've gone and, and what they've done and, and all the people that they met with having nice chats with the old Anglican minister. And They also made these fantastic sheets um, showing the different crops and where they were located. And they created an album of that summer of 1911. And as they moved in, they just took photographs. They also did, I think, some soil sampling and they took photographs to show what the soil was like. The records are really wonderful. Sadly, I don't know quite how we got them, but I suspect that uh, Mr. White, who kept the records and donated them to the archives sometime in the 1940s. A fascinating memoir for the BC Archives. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.